Okay, so today we want to show off a new application that our team has been working to build here over the last couple of weeks. Uh, this solution is using some of the new app platform functionality that Roost has provided to us. And with this, what we're trying to address is we're essentially trying to help our account management team more easily identify opportunities to improve our monthly recurring revenue. So the way this works is we're leveraging the Service Leadership Index guidelines for ranking all of our clients on an A, B, C, or D letter scale. The requirements for those are whether or not that client fits into your target market profile, whether or not that client has your all-in fully managed plan, the percentage of the solution stack that you offer that your client has, as well as whether or not your client's paying the full pricing that they need for their per user or per device model. So this all starts with the home screen here. And what we'll have first is, uh, you can't really see it very well, but there is a line here on the left that is the name of the client. We have intentionally shrunk that in efforts to uh, you know, hide those client names. We'll also see the client's territory, the market that they're in, the person assigned as their account manager. And most of our clients also have an executive um, sponsor assigned to that account. That person kind of acts as like a, an escalated form of account management. And then lastly, the currently assigned grade for that client. So the way this works is the next page we have here is the sales matrix. If we were to click that link, it would take us here. And what this is going to show us is essentially a full listing of all of our core applications, as well as whether or not the client has the application installed or configured. If they don't have the solution, then we're showing off uh, essentially what our revenue loss is per, uh, per application and per client. If we scroll further down, we have another data table that shows some of our secondary solutions. We don't consider these as part of the service leadership client ranking because these don't necessarily fit for every client or every situation, but it does identify potential revenue opportunities that are there for secondary solutions. Last, we have the actual revenue totals for each of these solutions for all clients. So case in point, our app control, we're actually missing out on almost $20,000 of potential revenue every month for all of the clients that we don't have set up with this solution. So this very quickly shows us a way that we can increase our monthly recurring revenue. If you notice, we have all of the applications for our core solutions listed here on the left. If you click any of these, it's gonna take you to an application specific page inside of our uh, web app. So again, we're gonna see the name of the client. We're going to see whether or not the solution is uh, installed or enabled. If it is, we're going to see what we're billing that client for that solution every month versus if it's not, what the revenue potential is. So what that's going to give us is at the bottom here, you're going to see essentially the total revenue billed every month versus the potential revenue. So in the case for this solution, we can see that we only have about a third of our clients. So we have a pretty substantial opportunity here if we were to sell this to additional clients. As another example, we have our dark web monitoring. So in this case, you can see the you know, same concept, whether or not the solution is installed or not or enabled, revenue build versus the revenue opportunity. So here we're doing a lot better with this solution. We're 75 to 80% uh, essentially of that revenue potential is being earned. Now, to pull all of this information, it, it's a pretty substantial workflow. The workflow itself has over 3,000 actions that run. It takes about 26 to 30 minutes or so for this thing to run on a regular basis. So what we're doing with this is we run the workflow and we record all of that information every morning into an Azure Cosmos database and then we're able to report off of that database. So some of the examples here, you know, there's various workflows that pull in information for agreements. Uh, we have our trigger that calls everything else. And some of the ways that we're calculating our gross margin, as an example, or with a workflow here. So what this is doing is it's actually going through uh, whatever specified time period 
and it's pulling all time entries associated with that client's agreement. It looks at the member that entered the time, and then we're querying our PSA, ConnectWise Manage, for that member's hourly cost. And from there, we're figuring out essentially, you know, through something like this, exactly what that individual time entry cost based on the person that submits it. And then we take the sum of all of those costs and we figure out what that agreement is and uh, we confirm what the, the percentage of margin. So if we test that here as an example, what we're going to see is something like this. We can see that on this test agreement for the demo that we have uh, a total cost of $988.81 for all of the time entries that are entered on that agreement, which shows us currently a gross margin percentage of roughly 0.67, I'm sorry, 67%. This is not exactly where we plan to stop though. We have some future enhancements already planned for this with the most notable being adding a uh, suggested solutions column on the home page. The way this will work is we're going to have workflows that determine where our sales opportunities are for each of our clients and display potential sales solution opportunities for our account managers right here on the home page so that we can target their efforts in the areas that will make us the uh, you know the most MRR.